Well, I'm cautiously optimistic because I think people adapt. The fact that we're here, you and I, means that we had ancestors who survived. Most ancestors never made it. Uh, the people who survive today are a very, very small handful of people who ever existed. A lot of families die out, a lot of people die out. Uh, you can go through Europe and you can find all kinds of people who no longer exist. People, only experts remember their names. So, the question is, is, is how we adapt. And my feeling is that people will make their individual decisions and then they'll become great events which will force them to adapt. And if you're smart and you're willing to make the effort, you can adapt. It may cost you something, but there are ways of adapting. For example, getting more than you ever asked for. <laughs> we have a, not a very good educational system in the United States. I've written a book about it called Bad Students, Not Bad Schools. How are people adapting to that? Well, many of them are going to home schools. Many of them are putting their kids in church schools. Many of them are uh, moving to better school systems. Uh, because they take care of their children, and that's a very powerful instinct, and so we adapt. In the same way that many, many Americans are dealing with crime. One of the things you notice in many big cities is that, yes, there's lots of crime, but there are some people who never experience crime. How do you adapt? Well, there are lots and lots of ways. You can live in a nice neighborhood, you can take taxis instead of subways, you can have doormen, you can... Uh, Apple, I gather right now, has an app they sell which warns you that you're entering into a high crime neighborhood. Hmm, very interesting. So, yeah, so uh, people, people learn um, in the same way that our ancestors uh, learned in the forest 100,000 years ago that if they saw certain kinds of things going on, or if they smelled certain sorts of things, or heard certain things, it was best to get out. They learn. It's adaptive behavior. One of the key uh, uh, characteristics of human beings is we learn. And I think that that will get us through. It may take some time before we learn how to do it, but it's like guns. Now, when guns were first introduced in Europe, like gin in, in Europe, the early days were chaos. Okay, People were getting drunk, killing one another, but eventually Society learned how to handle booze, and they learned how to handle guns, and they learned how to handle germs that caused epidemics. Uh, you learn about public health. You learned that you need clean well water, that you don't um, uh, do certain things in the, in, in the stream and then downstream you know, drink that water. So uh, to the extent which human beings learn, I'm optimistic. Well, it's not a solution. We have no choice. I mean, you don't go out one day and say, uh, I'm going to go out and learn something today. So, for example, uh, where I live, I very, very rarely take taxi cabs. But on occasion, I do. Well, by trial and error, I have figured out where is the best place to stand to get a taxi cab. Now, I didn't go out and say, I'm going to learn how to get a taxi cab. I noticed that if I stand over there, I don't get very many cabs. I go half a block and stand on the corner, I, I get more taxis. Well, yeah, and I think what happens is, is that the people who, su who survive are the ones who learn the most. I mean, people who don't learn, uh, many of them were asked to leave the gene pool. And so all, all you can say, what I always tell everybody, is be conscious of what you have learned and how to apply this. Uh, I used to do this all with my children. Well, what have we learned today? Uh, we have learned that uh, when you go in public, you don't wear expensive jewelry, okay? Uh, when you go to certain places, you keep an eye out for uh, uh, stores or, or things that are open, or you just don't go there. Uh, so, to the extent to which people learn is, is the extent to which I'm optimistic. Draw lessons from your experience and use your experience to guide your life.